Hello and welcome to Excel video 309. I was helping a pathology group yesterday. They were pulling data from an outside system and we're trying to figure out, okay, what sessions haven't been signed off on yet and that have been, you know, received more than three days ago kind of thing. Can we reconcile the medical record number in the pathology software to what's in the practice management software and make sure everything's getting billed? When you're ready to pull data from an outside system, reconcile it with your PM and analyze it in Excel, I'd love to help you. We're going to transition today from show values as and look at a different way to do calculations and pivot tables. And I thought about just doing it behind the scenes and I thought it might help you to see what I'm up to. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I am going to look at primary insurance instead. So I can pull primary insurance down into the row labels. I could also get it from here and pull it down in there. But it was just available here, so I did it. I'm going to get rid of sum of build. And I'm going to change this back by getting rid of the two. I can change the name there. And then I need to go to value field settings. Notice how the numbers aren't all formatted correctly because we did a quick and dirty format instead of doing it right. We have to do it right with number format, currency, and get rid of the pennies, and that will help us. Now that that's working, what I want to show you today is you're not limited to just one field in the values area. I can pull right off, and I can pull allow down in there as well. And when I do, again, see, my, my data is not quite right because you remember a couple videos ago I just selected everything and tried to do a format from here. That's not a long-term solution. What you really want to do is do it right. Go to value field settings, number format, currency, get rid of the pennies. I'm not worried about negative numbers. We're going to do the same thing for allowed, and then we're where we need to be. Number format, currency, get rid of the pennies. Okay, so what do I have? I have, for my main pair groups here, what I build, what I've contractually had to write off, and what's been allowed over whatever time period I'm looking at. And what I want to do is I evaluate these, is, is look at the allowed as the percentage of the build and see how my contracts are going. Typically what you can do in Excel is you can just do equals this divided by that, and look what Excel does for me. There's a get pivot data formula out there that we're going to talk about that's fairly complicated. And so what Excel will try to do by default is create the formula for you when you arrow over like I did. Or if you click like this, Excel will build a formula for you. Get pivot data can be a little bit unwieldy to work with. And again, we're going to work through some examples. But when I'm looking for quick and dirty, there's another solution. What I can do is I can, instead of mouse over, instead of click over, I'm going to type D9 divided by B9. And if I do that, you'll see I get the same answer. Let's format these now like that. Now look what happens when I copy. The type it in version. Right? I didn't point. I didn't click. I didn't arrow. I just typed in the formula. That will copy down. See, this is D9 divided by B9, here's D12 divided by B12, D14 divided by B14. Over here, this is like an absolute formula. Remember the formulas we've talked about earlier with the dollar signs in them? This formula, no matter where you copy it, is always going to look for the sum of allowed field from a pivot table that starts at cell A8 right there, where the primary insurance is Medicare, and it's going to divide that by the get pivot data from the sum of build field in a pivot table starts at A8 where the primary insurance is Medicare. That's what that's telling us. And the challenge with this formula is it's hard to copy around. There are some real advantages to get pivot data. We're going to do that. But if you need quick and dirty, what I want to show you today, if you need a formula out of a pivot table, type the formula in and you can get around the limitations of get pivot data. That's the quick and dirty shortcut. We'll work through get pivot data. We'll start that next time. Thanks for watching.